Hello everyone, my name is Ellie Cupcakes and today's speed paint is about the Pride Month and also Buzzo, but you already guessed that. June already started, so I wanted to do a little fan art of my favorite character with my own sexual orientation. I didn't do anything in May for the Mermaid because even if it was a really cool theme, it didn't pique my interest at all. On the other hand, being part of the LGBT community means that I do at least one fan art dedicated to bisexuality each year. Being a bisexual means that you experience attraction to your own and other genders. I'm glad that a lot of people in the fandom also see Bazo as B, because it kind of makes sense considering his undying love for Lisa and the availability of men post-flash. As an introvert, I'm not really flamboyant about this kind of stuff, and in real life I'm really reserved to avoid any kind of harassment from people with a backward mentality. Remember to stay safe, because even if on socials we are allowed to be more open about ourselves, in public spaces it's still better to be cautious, since you'll never know if the people you're coming out to are decent people. To talk a bit about this piece, sketching this has been really troublesome, because I still haven't figured out how to draw more dynamic poses and especially arms. The flag wrapped around him was just the sherry on top that almost made me have a breakdown. I reached out to a friend of mine a few hours before the live, and they helped me figure out a better pose and an easier way to draw hands, so thank you very much for that. I'm really satisfied on the amount of progress I've made on how to draw him. He's getting sexier and sexier, every sketch I make of Basil. I have 16 traditional sketches that need to be cleaned out before posting them on my socials, even though I already posted some of them on the Discord. Have you seen them? And one of those is really creepy, really, really creepy. I'm also experimenting on ways to make my art creepier, to vent a little and try new things out. We did half of the coloring of this piece on stream, and it has been so fun. We chatted a lot and discussed about him and other stuff. I'm really happy that you enjoy how I draw him and I can't wait to work on him more. But since I need to work on other projects for a while, we will not hear about him anymore. Psych! Today we are gonna play Lisa the Painful! Again! On normal mode and we'll attempt to get the joyous ending with no arms for Basil's delight. And after that run, we'll start playing a couple of fun games as well. People seem to be very excited about Hopeful and Pointless, so we are going to try them out in this order. Hopefully they are not as difficult as Pain Mode, so it's going to be interesting. I'm excited about Lisa, but I can't wait to go back to Bloodborne 2 eventually. I'm editing late at night today, so sorry if my voice is a little funkier than usual. The first time I recorded this, I was muted, the whole time, and it exported in the wrong format too, so you can imagine how tired I am. I also still need to edit all the VODs of the games we have done so far, so I guess my Sunday and Monday are going to be pretty busy. So if you enjoy my videos, remember to subscribe and like if you want to see more. With that said, thanks for sticking by, and thank you for watching, see you next time!